friends. That was Tim Hecker. If you don't listen to Tim Hecker, do yourself a favor. So, uh, continuing on with our little Code War thing we've been doing. Um, so this one's a 6KYU problem. Uh, just opened it, and let's take a look. You're given an array which will have a length of at least three, but could be very large, containing integers. The array is either entirely comprised of odd integers or entirely comprised of even integers except for a single integer n. Write a method that takes the array as an argument and returns n. And n would represent the odd man out array. So here 11 is the only odd, and here 160 is the only even. So let's see what we got to do here. We're going to have to check to see um, basically if the array is majority even or odd and then just return the minority. Okay, so element. Alright, so how, how we go about doing this? Think for a second. I think I got a way of doing this two different ways. One would be a little bit more taxing, but we'll just figure it out. So let's just do two arrays here. Let's do one even, one odd. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'll do this first. I'll do it the first way, and then I'll show an easier way. So we'll have two, or two different arrays, one for even and one for odd. And then we'll just go through the integers. each do i so now we'll go through the entire list of integers and we can write a ternary statement here we'll go i dot even so if it is even we want to push on to the even array that i if it's not even we want to push on to the odd array that i switch this here okay so that's the basic functionality we're going with here then we'll do another ternary statement down here we'll go if even dot count is greater than one will return the first element in the even array if it's greater than one if it's greater than one, so we'll return the odd. Otherwise, we'll return the first element in the even array. So let's just see if any of this works. I mean, that's a really kind of, that's a lot of code. I could do it with a lot less code, but let's just attempt it real quick. Let's see, this should work. I think it'll work. Let's see if it works. If not, we got a problem. Okay, cool. So. 45 pass the test okay so that works but there's got to be a better way to do this because really we're making two other arrays here so we could probably refactor this a little bit so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this code we'll come back to it in case we can't find a another solution so let's write a ternary statement here let's go integers dot count and then let's use the and even thing to where we'll check to see the amount of evens that are in there. And, and even. if that count of even is greater than one, then we'll if it's greater than one, then we'll do integers dot find and we'll find the first even. Wait, if it's greater than one, that means majority even, we'll find the first odd. If not, we'll find the first even. Alright. Integers dot count even. So count up the amount of evens. If that's greater than one, then return the first odd element. 
not return the first even element. So that should work too. So let's attempt that. Error syntax error unexpected. And we're expecting. Did I not put it? Yeah, that's right. All right. Damn brackets. Uh, undefined method on for fix num. Didn't put a question mark. Come on, Garrett. All right. One test found. Even for fix num. Even count. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, dude. I totally just flubbed this up. Oh, fuck me, Ronnie. Son of a bitch. Well, let's just do it again. Integers dot count. Man, this is a really shitty video. Even is uh, greater than one. Then we'll return. Maybe I should do these before I start the video because this is pretty friggin' cumbersome trying to talk and figure this shit out at the same time. So that's my bad on that. Question mark. Question mark. This should work. If it doesn't work, I think I'll just call it good. Okay, cool. So that worked. Good job. Take time to refactor. Okay, so let's talk about this for a second. So right here we're writing a ternary statement. This will be a test. All of this before on the left side of the question mark will be a test. If that test passes, it's going to return the thing on the left of the colon. If it fails, it will return the thing on the right of the colon. So this and colon, or this and colon right here for even or odd, what that will do, let's go to IRP real quick. Let's say that we have an array and that has one, two, three, four, five, six twos in it, and one three. So if we go r dot count, and then we just we put in and and colon even, it will return the amount of evens in the array, right? And if we do the same thing for odd it will return the amount of odd integers in an array, right? So you can also do it with find. You can use the and colon even, and it will find the first even element. So it'll find that first two. And if you do it with odd, it will return the first odd element, which is that three. So basically I'm just using ternary statements and, and basically, so right here I'm checking to see if the count of even is greater than one. If it is, if it's over one, then I know it's majority even because there's only going to be one odd element. So I'll return the first odd element that I find. If it is le if it is not greater than one, then I know that it's majority odd and I'll return the first even element that I find. So that's all good. Submit that final and that should, that, that'll work. So um, I think what I'm going to do from here on out is actually do these before I start the video because uh, trying to uh, talk through all this stuff and do it, <laughs> it, like trying to figure it out, talk through it, and uh, and now I've lost my page. I probably won't even get credit for that one. Whatever. Uh, oh, okay. So here's the solutions. Somebody used the partition here. That's pretty good. I could have done that. Um, outliers again, sorry. That was pretty good. Okay, so this dude did the exact same thing that I did right here. Right? So I'm going to start doing these before I start the video because trying to teach it, figure it out, and talk about it at the same time is pretty haggard. But whatever, man, you get the gist of it. And if you get a chance, check out some Tim Hacker. It's good, weird, electronic, experimental noise. So.